Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with a very exciting video for all you Samsung Epic 4G owners here to do a video showing you how to install Signage Mod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich on your Epic 4G. I know I've been teasing you guys for a while now, but now you guys will know how to install it. So, first you're going to need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod installed on your device. Then click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website. Before I make this video, I do want to give a huge shout out to all the members of the Signage Mod team for the Epic 4G. And just big thanks to everyone. Warren, Nubanel, Uber Penguin, Decadence, everyone that was involved in getting this going for us. So please be sure to thank everyone that you can. But anyways, now what you're going to need to do is download two files, the ROM itself as well as the Google apps. So right here, as you can see, you got CM9 mirrors, which is the mirrors. Before I do say this, um, this is an alpha build, so there will be some bugs. I'll be going over those in the review video. But anyways, uh, CM9 mirrors right here. Click on one of them, download the file, also download the G apps, the Google apps, such as Market, Gmail, Google Talk, all those good apps. Uh, download those as well. You're going to need both of them. Then, once you have both of them downloaded, go ahead and plug in your Epic 4G into your uh, PC. And then what you're going to need to do is open up your SD card, your removable disk, and make a new folder on your SD card and call it 000 flash. It actually doesn't matter what you call it as long as it's up towards, as it's up towards the top. Uh, that being because once you install signage of my nine it installs a new version of clockwork mod which has a little bug where you can't see the bottom files so you need to make sure the files that you do plan to flash in the future after you install signage of my nine are all in the folder that you have up at the top so um, might as well start now so create a folder called 000 flash double cl double click on it and put those two files in there that you downloaded the update cm9 alpha as well as the google app so once both of those zip files are in there you're ready to go go ahead and eject your sd card from your pc so right click hit eject and then you can go ahead and unplug your device from your whoops sorry about that guys you can go ahead and unplug your device from your pc and then we can go ahead and go into our clockwork mod recovery so i'm going to go ahead and hit clockwork mod recovery on the rom i'm on and if you don't have uh, that option, just go ahead and power it on off. Press and hold the volume down, camera button and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them till the bottom backlit keys light up, and then it will take you into your custom recovery. I do want to make a note that this is an MTD ROM. Stock would be BML. Um, so make sure you know the difference. And it doesn't matter what you're on previously before you install an MTD ROM, but it matters if you want to install a BML ROM. You need to Odin back to stock first before you can install a BML ROM after installing MTD. I do have a video explaining all that. I'll link to that in the description of the video if you haven't watched that. Okay, now, as you can see, it takes me into my Clockwork Mod based recovery. First, I'm going to recommend making an Android backup. So, make an Android backup, go to Backups and Restore, make an Android backup just in case anything goes wrong whatsoever. So also make sure you have all your data backed up, your apps, your contacts, your text messages, your call logs, all things you needed backed up. So make sure you have those backed up. Once they're backed up, you're ready uh, You're ready to go. Now to install this ROM, you need to make sure you wipe data. Don't, uh, don't try and install it without wiping, wiping data. So go to wipe data, factory reset, select it and hit yes, delete all user data. So then it's gonna go ahead and wipe everything. Once that's done, go to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache, and then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache, and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache, and there you're ready to go. So once you're done there, hit go back, and now go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then go to your 000 flash folder that's up at the top as you can see. Select it, and then install the ROM. So select the ROM and hit yes, install it. So then it's going to go ahead and run through the install process of Signage Mod 9 on your Epic 4G. I'm going to go ahead and let this let this go. Be patient with the install process. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, as you can see, the ROM is done installing. We're not done yet. Make sure you don't reboot. We're not done. So now go ahead and go back to choose it from SD card. Select that. Go back to your 000 flash folder. And then select G apps ICS, the Google apps. Select that and install those. So install the ROM and then right after install the Google apps. It won't take as long to install the Google apps as the ROM did. So I'm going to let this install. 
And as you can see, install from SD card complete. Now what you can do is hit go back, so back arrow, and then just reboot system now. So now we're gonna go ahead and reboot our phones, and once it boots up, we will be running Signage Mod 9 ice cream sandwich on our epic 4g um as you can see galaxy s signage mod it will have the ice cream sandwich boot animation let's go ahead and check it out all right so there you have it um, i'm going to be doing a separate review video as i said i will link to that in the description of the video so be sure to check that out be sure to subscribe to me follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up